Today is the SimX 2022 and we are down in the Sim Suite at the University of Portsmouth which is a um, simulated hospital. So this is a mass casualty simulation basically. So we wanted to come up with something that felt realistic but to practice processes etc. What could happen in a real life scenario. This is all based on a scene that we've made up that the Spinnaker Tower had collapsed after a ferry coming into it. There's research also involved in it so we're really seeing you know if this happened for real you know have we got the proper processes in place that will really really help to make sure that we're all safe effective confident and competent to undertake our roles together as a team the idea is is that during a mass uh, casualty incident that we have lots of different patients come in with varying degrees of severity in terms of their trauma and they will go to the different areas within the simulation hospital and be treated by our trainee nurses, clinicians, ACPs and doctors who are up at the hospital. Major incidents don't happen very often and when they do you need to be on your A game and for students sometimes that can be quite overwhelming so being able to have it in a controlled environment today that's been really valuable for the students I think and that's probably the most important thing for us. We've gone to great lengths to try and get um, it as realistic as possible. We had 43 simulated patients come through who were all played by um, actors or people that had offered to be role players who are students from other areas within the university. They've all been given their little backstories of what's the matter with them and what injuries that they have, how to act during the scenario um, and then they've gone through a moulage session uh, where we've got absolutely brilliant moulage team who have basically put various bits of latex and blood and bits of bone so we're very grateful to them um, because the more realistic it is they will get much, much more out of it. The impact on our students is getting them used to what would be expected of them as a student if something like this happened whilst they're out in clinical. They're all third year students, so actually in a couple of months, this is going to be what they're going to do as part of their job. So actually that's you know really important and really valuable for them. A lot of the students have been doing cannulation, they've been doing sort of catheter insertions, um, they've been able to deal with sort of large wounds that need dressing and things like that and it's all those kind of clinical skills that they've been able to get stuck in with here that they might not necessarily have been able to get fully hands on with in their clinical placements. So for the student nurses there are so many benefits there. So the first of all we use a lot of simulated teaching now in teaching medicine nurses because this is an ideal environment for them to practice those absolutely critical skills and it's not just the skills for example taking blood, you know cannulating people, doing catheterization. This is actually about the fundamental skills that's needed in nursing. So how do we be empathetic? How do we give compassion? How do we communicate with someone who's distressed? And it's all within an environment and context that is all safe. We can practice the skills. We can learn if it's great. You know, we get great feedback. It installs more confidence and confidence go forward. If it's not so good, we can tweak it and know that actually no one was harmed in the process and we can build and develop on those key skills. Today for the students, we're, we're doing a, um, a refugee situation. So they're going to get into characters you see I've already moulage ready to be a part of that and already have been a part of the street refugee scene. The context of us doing this then, then being role players of refugees for example, there's so many skills here that are applicable to being a nurse. They may not see it straight away and I may need to prompt them tomorrow to think about what they've learned. So an example would be, just then we've had to beg for food and water in a scene that we were involved in. That is going to give the students really understanding and empathy what it feels to be in someone else's shoes. How do you deal with those people? What communication skills do you use? How do we try and de-escalate situations? These are all really fundamental aspects of being a nurse. I think it will help them to build um, empathy skills because it's situations that they're coming across that they haven't had in the duration of the, the nursing programme. And it's a great chance for the students to kind of enjoy their situation as well and to see different sides of things, which all helps to kind of understand humans, really. I do think that being a patient today is quite valuable, learning for all of us to the nurses and also mental health, as it does get you into the headspace of what it's like and helps me learn and us learn um, what we're going to do in that situation and also how to cope in that situation, so how we're going to help those patients if we ever see that in the future. I actually found it really beneficial to understand like the vulnerabilities of being a patient and I honestly think that everyone should kind of have a, an experience of that in order to deliver more patient-led, um, empathetic, like focused care. We are also learning a lot as facilitators today. By doing that, we've become better teachers for them as well. So we want to show the students we're in this together and we're a team. 
I'm Dr. Michael Human from the University of Liverpool and we're part of the psychology department and we focus on critical and major incident research. Some of the main partners here are led by the University of Portsmouth who've been running the CIMEX for several years. It was also in partnership with Hampshire Fire and Rescue and we from the University of Liverpool have joined them over the last five years. Well, the key thing for the partnership is that we have expertise that comes from different areas. So Portsmouth brings a lot of the medical expertise, the team in the CIMEX brings a lot of the exercising expertise, while we bring a lot of the evaluation and the psychological components. And by bringing all those together we can make sure we maximise the learning from the exercises, but also making sure that any findings can be brought out to a wider audience. So after the exercise, we debrief the role players, allow them to hold up a mirror to the medical teams, the nurses, the doctors, and get them to feedback how they felt, how their needs were addressed, if they were dealt with respect, with dignity, and give them a bit of a sense of how confident and competent they are, not only on the technical side, but also in the human and the interaction side. The link between the university and hospital is really important for an event like this. It shows collaboration between the two settings and um, we couldn't do it without each other. So there's a massive opportunity for learning from both sides. Do you know what? I am incredibly proud and not just one individual, the whole lot. You know, the student nurses are absolutely petrified. We were all really excited, really apprehensive. I'm so proud because they've gained so much. I'm really proud of how today's gone. Um, it's been a lot of work in the background from both the guys at the university and the major incident team up at the hospital. And the feedback that we've already started to receive from the um, students is that they've had a great day, they've learnt loads, and that honestly couldn't be better to hear and has absolutely meant that we've managed to achieve the goals that we've set out to.